Hello everyone, Lyle here from West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange, and today I have a small collection to look through and what's inside this mystery box. Hello and welcome. My name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. And I do a lot of videos of all of the coin collections that come into the store. And today I actually have a small collection that came in just the other day with uh, something in this mystery box. Something that I've seen before, but I, I don't think I've ever showed it here on the channel. So thank you so much for stopping by. And if you can, before I get started, just make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of the collections that come into my very small coin shop here in West Tennessee. So let's take a look at what came in. I got that little stack right there. Plus this mystery box that I'm pretty sure you're thinking, wow, I know what that is. It's not really a mystery, but let's pretend like we don't know what it is. So let's look through this little collection. There's really nothing major here. It's just a very small collection from uh, from a guy that came in, needed uh, needed some money. His father passed away, and these were his coins. And I was happy to uh, to help him out and um, get him going. But here we have a. 1879, I think this is a P, yep, 1879 P, uh, Morgan Dollar that has seen better days. As you can see, look at all those scratches, those marks. It kind of looks like this coin was uh, plated at one point, and then they just started peeling all of the uh, gold plating off. But it is still 90% silver. It's still from 1879, which is... About 150 some odd years old now, 860, somewhere around there. But cool looking Morgan right here. Next up, we have this 1879, 1879 Morgan, and it is from New Orleans. So, oh, very common, very common Morgan dollar here. Nothing too special other than it being 90% silver. It is old, kind of worn. Who knows where this coin has been in its 100 plus year journey of being in the United States. Next up is this 1880, 1880 Morgan that also looks like it was plated and then they just started chipping it all away and peeling it away. And here is the back. It is a P. No mint mark. So it's from Pennsylvania. It's uh, still got okay detail. It's not like it's the uh, worst I've ever seen. The front's a little weird, though, but... <laughs> it's from 1880, guys. 1880. Next up, we have this very shiny 1881 Morgan. This one looks like it has been polished and cleaned. You can tell by those scratches right on the cheek. See those nice scratches going up? That is a good indicator. You can see the scratches right here, going that direction, right there. That shows that it has been polished, has been cleaned. This 1881P, still 90% silver, still a Morgan dollar. I have figure a ton of these have been cleaned, but still... Still silver, good for stacking. So we had four Morgans. Next up, we have this pretty cool uh, silver round. The right to be left alone. <laughs> the Ninth Amendment. It looks like it's a porcupine. It's a really cool round. The Patriotic Network. One troy ounce, we the people. Support the U.S. Constitution. This is a nice round that uh, it's, it should be like a pocket coin where you keep this one in your pocket. And you take it out whenever you need it. 
show the support for the Constitution. Our money should be made out of silver and gold, but it is not. That's okay, but not really. <laughs> so people come up with stuff like this, but this is a cool round. Very cool round. Next up, we have some uh, 1955, 1955 coins. Here is a Washington quarter. 1955, let's look at that 55, because it kind of looks like it's, uh, never mind. Almost looked like it was a double die, but it is, it says it's a BU, Brilliant Uncirculated. It looks to be in decent shape. This flip looks to be really old. Look at those staples. So it's probably been in here for a long time. It's a 1955 D. Is that a D? Yep. There's the D. Next up, this 1955 P. This probably came out of uh, mint sets. They were cut out, put in here, but these guys look really good. It's 90% silver, 1955 P, Roosevelt dime, and last but not least is this 1955 Benjamin Half, Brilliant Uncirculated. Now there really are no key dates for the... Uh, Benjamin Franklin's. The 55 is probably the closest you'll get to uh, to it being a key date. Uh, I think there was under 3 million and 2.9, something like that, 2.6 million of these that were made. Uh, it does have, I believe it has the lowest mintage, the 1955 does. But it is very common. If you wanted to find 20 of these, you could find 20 of these very easily. But it is probably the um, it's probably the the only semi kind of key date Benji has. Nice half dollar right here. All right, so that is a nice little collection that I'm going to put up on our auctions. So if you're not signed up for the auctions, just make sure you go to www.westtnexchange.com. Oh, my camera doesn't like the black mass. <laughs> Remember, West TN, like Tennessee, TNExchange.com. Get registered for the auctions. We do the auctions on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, I might move the Friday's auctions to Saturday, though, um, but I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm still trying to uh, figure all that out. So here we have this nice mystery box of what can be inside. So let's take a look. This is actually pretty cool. I've seen these, but I've never had one in the store yet. But this is a one of those large bills that is made out of silver. This right here is four ounces of fine silver. And it looks like a $100 bill. It is four ounce, four troy ounces of 0.999 fine silver. Look at Benjamin Franklin there. Probably one of the most, or the most beloved founding fathers. It was good old Benji. There's the back. And it is four ounces. I weighed it. I wanted to make sure that it was what it said it is. So I had to take it out of here. I tested it with the Sigma. It's good. It's kind of thin. Look at that. Look how thin it is. Uh, but it's four ounces of 0.999 silver. I think it's really cool. This will definitely go fast. It's not something that will hang around here at the store very long. I'm pretty sure once a couple of the regular customers see this video, they will fight for it. Uh, which you shouldn't fight for it. I mean, they're not these. They're these things are pretty common, so you can definitely find them out there. But you won't find them here. You'll only find this one here at West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange in Savannah, Tennessee. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is the small coin collection that came in. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. 
and hanging out with me. Just remember, I do the live auctions Tuesdays and Fridays. So uh, from, from 3 to 5, that's Central Time because I am in West Tennessee. We're in Central Time. So make sure you stop by for those. Hang out with me. We'll talk. We'll chat while I do some auctions. We'll have some fun. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, stay up to date on all of the cool stuff that comes in. And I will see you next time. Have a good day.